Let's make a side chain with a snare in the same way that Skrillex has been doing in the last few years in his more recent productions, where the snare is actually even quieter than the hi hat sometimes, but the way the side chain set up, it really pops through. So like me, you might mistakenly think that this can be achieved by using a multiband sidechain setup, which is what I've got for the kick right now, where the highs are sidechain less than the lows. There's another video on this channel about multiband sidechain. But for this particular sound and feeling, it's better to use uh, just a regular compressor or volume shaper of your choice. And we want to duck every element in the music. If there were vocals, I would leave the lead vocal, but the backing vocals, I would probably apply this to as well. So take a Ableton compressor and I'm running my instruments into this audio track with input monitoring. So it's functioning like a, uh, a bus. I'm sending to sidechain like that. And on here is my compressor. So full ratio, RMS, zero knee, 10 millisecond release, 10 millisecond attack, 10 millisecond look ahead. So by the time the threshold is at its lowest from the 10 millisecond attack, because of the look ahead, that's the lowest point, And that's gonna be hitting on the transient. This gets rid of any clicks that sidechain can sometimes create. The sidechain input from my drum rack Choose the snare. Okay. All right, so we can hear that. It's a little too extreme because you can hear the release right now. Okay, that feels pretty good. And then I'm gonna copy this onto any other tracks, any other returns that I didn't send through this sidechain bus. So in Ableton, if you send a, a return track into here, into a input, it creates a kind of latency, which can sound wrong. If you have a time delay, like a quarter note delay, these, would, these delays would be late be some latency and that makes it unmusical so I don't I don't want to send these through so I'll just copy this compressor and onto the effects as well okay so now everything except the drums is being sidechained to the snare and the last thing to make this sound better is take a transient shaper to this, onto the snare so that it pops through and we can turn the volume down even more. So I've already shaped this sound using Ableton's simpler effects uh, using the envelope here. I think it's usually like this by default. But I'm taking all the sustain off, making this, the sample shorter. And then I've got another transient designer here. Turn up the attack. And I'll just mute this pre snare, and you'll see. Uh, You'll hear the effect even more. Mm -hmm. 
and that's it. Enjoy.